objects instantiated from product will be saved in a table and the Ibernet framework will take care of that. Pay attention to the annotation entity. It marks the class product as a class we want to keep its objects in a database using the Ibernet framework. Pay attention to the annotation ID. It means that the ID property of each product is the key property. It is the primary key we shall use when obtaining products from the database using the Ibernet framework. This XML file defines the mapping between the objects instantiated from the class product and a table its name is products. This XML file is the Ibernet configuration file. It defines which database are we going to connect with, which driver we want to use, the username, the password, etc. Here in this file we also have a reference for the other file, the store inventory hbm.xml file, that file that defines the connection, the mapping between objects instantiated from product and the table products. Let's execute this code sample and voila, this is the outcome of the execution of this specific code sample. A small application that instantiate new objects from product and save them back to the table products and then query the uh, table products and print out the details of all products.